not too much happening at this time. Coming up on T plus 360 seconds. See normal jet activity. The animation we're seeing is now 81 miles altitude. Now at T plus 400 seconds, second stage continues to perform well. Chamber pressure is uh, very solid, right where it should be. Hydraulic system and return pressures are good. And we're seeing normal RAX jet activity at this time. And we have some good numbers here. Vehicle is now at altitude of 88 miles, downrange distance 900 nautical miles, and a velocity of 15,100 miles an hour. Glad to have that back. Second stage performance is still nominal. We have switched to Antigua data. Both CRDs are still operating well. The um, animation that we're seeing is real-time animation based on the data coming back uh, through our tracking stations. The uh, one we're currently getting data through is Antigua. Real-time animation should show our uh, second stage engine cutoff when it occurs. T plus 530, about another 20 seconds to go to SECO. Looking at very clean data from Antigua. And Seco. Hydraulic pump shut down. Bleed down is complete. Looking good there. And we'll have a Seco orbit in just a minute. But uh, so far, we've made it to the parking orbit. The uh, first burn of the second stage is now complete, and as uh, was mentioned, we're going to be in a coast phase now for about 65 minutes before we come back for a brief restart of the second stage for about two minutes. Our data came originally through the um, Air Force tracking station here at the Cape, uh, also 
from a station down near uh, Jupiter Inlet in South Florida, then Antigua and I Island. I can confirm CRD shutdown. Selecting some orbital data. And uh, our next uh, data acquisition will be through the Air Force telemetry aircraft in the Western Pacific. Quickly, going back to Miko, we have shown a uh, height of apogee of 79.7 nautical miles. And an inertial velocity at Miko, uh, approximately 90 feet per second faster than nominal, which is uh, acceptable. Going to uh, SECO, where we're at right now, our orbit at this time is 89, I'm reading the wrong column, correction, apogee is 90.09, perigee is 89.98, and our orbital inclination at this time, 28.50 degrees, and those numbers are right on the money. We're in a good circular parking orbit. We have gone LOS from Antigua. Thanks for the ride. Our telemetry has a coverage gap at this time for about another 62 minutes. And as we fly over the world's oceans, our next event will be a restart to raise the apogee. And at that time, flight commentary will continue. We're going to look now at replays of the Delta II lifting off from Pad 17A with the Phoenix spacecraft. These are different views from around the launch pad and uh, Cape Canaveral as well as our uh, long-range uh, tracking camera down at uh, Patrick Air Force Base. <laughs> 